Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, March 23rd, 2023, and it is day 11 of our 25-day Easter Scripture Reading Challenge. And uh, today we're going to be in one book, one chapter. That's right. Uh, we're going to be in Genesis chapter 3, and I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 7. And then I'm going to jump in and finish it off with verses 8 through 15. Wow, more than one verse More than time. one verse today. Praise so, the Lord. Yep. All right. I'm catching up to you. Well, we better get reading then. Verse 1, chapter 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Indeed, has God said... You shall not eat from any tree of the garden. The woman said to the serpent, From the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat, but from the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat from it or touch it or you will die. The serpent said to the woman, You surely will not die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, she took from it its fruit and ate. And she gave also to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were, were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loin coverings. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman who gave to be with me, she gave me from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field, and your belly you will go. And dust you will eat all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel. So, this is where it all begins. Uh, This is where and when sin entered the world. Uh, Man sinned, was now separated from God, and needed something needed a redeemer um, we, we see this take place at the first part of Genesis where it was or even what you read is we have the same thing today he said she said well <laughs> he made me do it he made me do it um, but what happened was their, their, the relationship that they had Adam and Eve had, have um, it was lost uh, the joy and peace that they had once had with God was replaced with shame and guilt and uh it's, something had to be done something needed to be done um some price had to be be paid and and here's where it begins you know and i and I, I could read this this morning and i was studying it and you know i could input my name into the spots oh, of adam yeah. and eve so easily because i know that i am just as guilty and but i do have my hope in jesus and as, as we will continue to read in this challenge, God does not let that relation stay separated. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. But again, I'm, I'm so quick to blame, just like Adam did real quick. He was pretty quick to blame it on Eve. Yeah. He threw that out pretty quick, and then she was quick to blame it on the serpent. But so I know I could replace my names, but again, that hope is it's pretty amazing that we have in Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but this was. I think important for us to read this morning knowing where it all began and why God needed to in place a redeemer for that sin. Well, and, and also for a reminder for me too and from a reminder for you, uh, 
if you're at, if you're watching this by chance and you don't know Jesus and you think that you're too far separated from God, this reminds us that that there's nothing that was too bad to be gone. You can't be too separated from God um, for Him to come back and redeem you. Um, so just pray that that uh, no matter what happens in your life, God is there. He's waiting for you uh, to accept uh, what he did for you, knowing that you could have been uh, your name in place of Adam or Eve. That's right, because he wants to come find that relationship with you, just Amen. like he was coming to find Adam and Eve. He wants that relationship with you, and that can be our hope and encouragement. Amen. We are so... Glad you joined us this morning, and we are really excited to uh, join you tomorrow for day 12, and we hope that you have a blessed day. See you tomorrow.